let's talk about induction of labor using a Foley bulb. First, labor induction is the process of using medications or other methods to bring on or start or induce labor. In some patients, cervical ripening is needed first to help soften and dilate the cervix. A cervical exam can be done to assess the Bishop score, and the Bishop score will be anywhere from 0 to 13. The Bishop score assesses the dilation of the cervix, position of the cervix, effacement of the cervix, station of the fetal presenting part, and then the cervical cons consistency. A Bishop score of less than 6 uh, indicates that uh, is probably not ready for labor and that a cervical ripening method may be needed. We can use medications or certain devices to uh, facilitate cervical ripening, and the trans cervical Foley catheter which is this thing right here, is one of the devices we can use. Now to place a transcervical Foley balloon catheter, the balloon of the Foley bulb is deflated. The catheter is then placed through the cervix, either blindly, meaning we're doing a cervical exam and we use our fingers to palpate the cervix and to guide the catheter in uh, through the cervix. And then once it's through the cervix, we inflate the balloon. Or we can do it using a speculum where we look directly and, and do, direct, do it under direct visualization where we see the cervix and pass the catheter through the cervix and into the lower, lower uterine segment. Once the catheter is through the cervix and into the lower uterine segment, that a balloon is filled with 30 to 80 cc's of saline. Now some uh, practitioners will place that Foley bulb once it's in place on tension. Uh, we don't do it where, where I work. Um, we find that it's not as comfortable for patients, but that may be offered to you wherever you deliver. The balloon will stay in for 12 hours and then be taken out and the cervical exam will be reassessed. Now, as far as pain, uh, when you get the Foley bulb catheter uh, placed into the cervix, some patients tolerate it just fine and have no pain control issues, and other patients do have pain control issues. If you are worried about having pain and discomfort, please talk to your obstetrical care provider about that first um, before it's even placed to see what options there are for pain control.